Hey this is Ask Productions, today I'm going to be going over the Editor's Keys SL300 USB Studio Microphone. In the package there is a carry case, the microphone itself, and a shock mount. Let's take a more in-depth look at this microphone. As you can see it has two switches, one on the right and one on the left. The switch on the right is the sensitivity control. You want to select the minus 10 decibel setting if you have a lot of background noise in your room. However, if you don't have any background noise, simply select the zero. The switch on the left is to switch between omnidirectional and normal mode. Omnidirectional picks up a lot of sound and normal just means that you have to speak directly into the microphone. If you do not speak directly into the microphone on normal mode, then it will not pick up enough sound. This small icon in the center of the microphone just shows that this microphone is in fact omnidirectional. Here are some positives and negatives about this microphone. One would be how simple it is to connect to your PC via the USB. Another feature would be this microphone's build quality. It feels as if it's been built with quality in mind. By this I mean that it's heavy, meaning that it's got a lot of features packed in, which of course it has, the inbuilt drivers, so you do not have to install any. The quality of this microphone can not only be determined via the sound, but it also can be determined by the hardware. As you can see here, the hardware is truly magnificent in this microphone. You will not see this type of hardware in a standard USB microphone that I've been using for the past year and a half. Just look at the size of this one compared to this. Look how much effort has been put into this microphone to make it what it is. This just shows the true quality of this microphone. Despite several positive factors of this microphone, there are also some negative ones that I feel you must know about. Firstly, there is no on and off switch. You simply have to plug it in, or you don't plug it in. That just determines whether it's on or off. And also the blue light will confirm this as well. I also feel that the blue light that comes up when you plug it into your PC should be slightly brighter. So you really do know that this microphone is on or off. I will now demonstrate what the sound quality is like with this microphone by recording in various settings a mixture of the two switches. For this recording sample, I'll be using the minus 10 setting and the normal mode. This is a test of the Editor's Keys SL300 USB Studio Microphone. For this setting, I'll be using the minus 10 decibel setting along with the omnidirectional setting. This is a test of the Editor's Keys SL300 USB Studio Microphone. For this recording sample, I'll be using the zero decibel setting and the normal setting. This is a test of the Editor's Keys SL300 USB Studio Microphone. For this recording sample I will be using the zero decibel setting and the omnidirectional setting. This is a test of the Editor's Keys SL300 USB Studio Microphone. So here we have the microphone shock mount. Unfortunately I didn't actually own a microphone tripod so I'm unable to show you what this will look like all set up correctly. However, I can briefly explain to you how this all works. The way this shock mount works is by capturing all the unwanted vibrations that may distort the sound into this elastic around the outside. Overall this product is great if you're looking for some equipment to suit your needs, which may be vocals or instrument recording. All these products are professionally made by Editor's Keys. As you can see here, this includes a USB cable to help you get going, the microphone itself, a shock mount and a carry case. Thank you very much for watching this. This has been Ad Productions' review of the Editor's Keys SL300 Studio Microphone.